Goody. The Shale Bridge Cradle. It used to be an insane asylum, and before that, it was an orphanage. One night a fire started, no one knows how. And after that, they left the place abandoned. If there's a way to cram more misery into one building's history, I can't think of it. I'm here to learn about the old woman who attacked me in the Keeper compound. Drept said he saw the hag here at the orphanage long ago, when his childhood friend was murdered. He's never dared to come back, but I don't think I have much choice. It's a thin lead, but it's all I have left. I've never robbed an orphanage before, and I can't say I'm looking forward to this visit. There's no telling what I'll find inside. I'm used to the dark, but this feels like a house with bad dreams. <coughs> okay, so I know I'm going to regret this, but difficulty up to hard. Uh, my goals are to search more information about the hag who attacked me. This is apparently a very, very good mission because people have been asking about it through this entire Let's Play. And I do remember a little bit about it, uh, but not too much. So we shall start. Now, I will tell you, one of the things I do remember, and I'm not going to kid you guys, is that there is no enemies at the start. Something happens to make enemies, but for now, despite the creepy moans and stuff, I'm pretty sure there are no enemies. I'm also pretty sure this is one of the best levels in the game. Now I mustn't forget that I do have my climbing boots. Boots? Gloves. <laughs> Definitely atmospheric, I'll give it that. It really does build on the tension in this level. Let's go inside. Now as I say, I'm pretty damn aware that there are no enemies at the start. I'm not going to kid you guys about that. I'm not going to uh, be acting all scared. I know there is nothing here. Though the... Uh yeah, you hear that? Kind of gives you the feeling that this place is kind of haunted or something. I hate ladders. It might look that because I'm going quite quickly, I know where I'm going. Trust me. I don't. The only thing I really remember <coughs> about this uh, level is that there are no enemies to start with, and I did see through this pretty pretty early on when I played it initially. It's burnt out. They must have kept a spare fuse somewhere. When I played it initially, um, I did I did realize what the game was doing. I did see through it. And so I was not fooled. So I did realize that there was like no uh, no enemies around. Do I have to keep this in my hands or what? Isn't that like a note I need to read? Oh good. Right, case number six. F. Topper. Patient history. Entry one. Brought in by a city watch, hysterical, carries an urn that contains the ashes of what authorities think might be her own infant. Refers to herself as Mama Topper. Uh, could prove difficult case to cure, yeah. Dr. Sandbridge. And you too. Efforts to uh, make the infant ashes away, take the infant away, are met with um, the same self-destructive behaviour. For now we see no harm in allowing the subject to carry them with her during a weekly walk in the exercise yard. Inform Dr. Hascombe. Uh I approve the use of his experimental heat therapy. DS. DS? Dr. Sandbridge. This place sounds really screwed up. Oh. 
can't forget the loot. I still need 60%. I just I think I came from that way, didn't I? Now we'll go back. <laughs> Since I don't actually know what I'm doing now. Yeah, the voices, even though I know nothing's here, yeah, get a get a um shiver up my spine, I have to admit. Is that the way out? What's up here? It was better before. There were too many rules to remember. Ah, too many rules to remember. Don't go here. Don't touch that. Don't talk to the patients. The doctors are just as scary as the patients. Miss Arthur says often shouldn't complain. Maybe she's right. Ah, stairs. Long staircase. Well, this is a bit better. And I say that because it's a bit brighter. But then again, obviously the game is having the desired effect. Because I'm thinking, yeah, this is better because it's brighter. But this is Thief Deadly Shadows and bright is bad. The lobby. I do have a map of this place, don't I? I forgot about that. Hmm. I can't really tell where I am though. The maps are largely useless. I don't want to go down there. I'll keep having a look up here, I think. See if I can get all the loot oh, that I can before bad things happen. I'm hearing a knocking, that's really bad. Heat therapy to ameliorate dampness in hypermotive patients by Dr. William Hanscom. Hanscom, sorry. Patients whom have lost touch with reality often have to be marked uh, dampness into their extremities. Have a marked, sorry, dampness into their extremities. Uh, a clamminess of the hand, a sweatiness of the foot. These symptoms result from an excess of emotive. Uh, humours that are trapped within the individual due to bile deficiency. Although electrical regimes are often used with this type of patient, I have also had great success with the application of heat. The heat must be of the dry variety as hot water submersion only exacerbates symptoms by increasing emotive humours. The hot elements must be laid directly on the skin to draw away the excess of moisture. Yeah, that sounds nice. Oh, big case. Uh, hey. That's good. Yeah, big safe that I almost just completely missed there. 